<laughs> funky and fresh. Hello, uh, this is our podcast with uh, Brett, Hut- Brett Hutchinson yes. and Gavin Varner. <laughs> we don't really like wine, but you see, we drink it for entertainment and also getting drunk. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about a few things. Uh, firstly, uh, we are college students uh, who are very poor, so affording wine is a bit difficult at times. So it's always cheap, so it's never good. Uh, if I could open it, that would also be really epic and cool, and it has a cork. I got a bottle opener. It has a bottle opener. <laughs> this is the first time we've gotten one with a cork! <laughs> so we've tried to record this a few other times. Uh, we've exposed personal information and didn't feel like editing it out, and then summer happened, and, um, so we're just gonna start the whole thing over. We're just, we're just gonna roll with it like that. This is a great start to it. I mean, we we gotta open up the bottle today. We are drinking um, a rotating bottle. Uh, I can't even pronounce that. Uh, S T E Chateau Michelle. It is from, Saint Michelle. Is that well? It says S T E, so I didn't know if it was Saint. Saint Chateau Michelle. This wine um, is from Risling, Columbia Valley, and it is a 2021, and uh, I'm just reading the details off the bottle at this point. Normally, we uh, research this beforehand, which we did last time, and we can always... Chateau Michel. Chateau Michel. Um, the dedicated wine, white makers, uh, whatever. It's 12%. Uh, this should be an interesting time. It smells really sweet, which neither of us particularly like in wine from previous attempts of recording this. Um, we do what we do. We do what we do. Do I pour first? Or is this sparkly? No. No, it's not. The last two were sparkly mm-hmm. and also much lower percent. So I went for a higher percentage this time. Yeah, we, we had to do that because last time we would drink like half the bottle and it just would not get us drunk. I'm taking the rest. Uh, you can either take the rest or whatever you think is good. I will finish the rest. Or if it fills up the bottle first, because I know the cup is large. Oh, uh, for those of you who are listening and not watching, I do have a girl boss mug. It is a beautiful thing. And now the bottle of wine is empty, and we have to finish it before we finish the podcast. So we can give you a wine review, because at the end of the day, that is what this podcast is. It is a wine review podcast where we just do shit in the middle of probably shouldn't swear for a class project but anyway well this isn't the class project oh this isn't the class project no because i have to do that with another group oh okay bet so yeah i might as well promote that right now i'm gonna have a new podcast coming out soon it's about women's mental health women in their 20s essentially because all the other podcasts are like really spiritual or really batshit crazy so we're trying to do something for the people in the middle where they're not like either of those and just trying to like work on themselves. Hmm. Okay. Like for the normal people. Cause so it's like an Anne Hathaway podcast kind of deal. I guess. I've, I don't know. Uh, my, my ex was really, really obsessed with it. So I got, I got to listen to that quite a few times. Well, oh, like we just, we just didn't want to do something that was like call her daddy because they're batshit crazy on there. Uh, oh, so yeah, you just, you just actually want to like, you know, do normal things. Yeah, like work on people's mental health without having to be like. Like, fuck this guy, fuck this guy. No, we're focusing on ourselves, not hating another gender. Mm. Let's see. This is a, uh, this is, um, what is it? A co-ed, a co-ed podcast. <laughs> we, we're not, I, I'm allowed to hate women. We're I'll actually, hate you. We're, we're actually going to a uh, segment in this episode, um, which, which I, you know, this isn't a uh, bad start to one so far. We haven't. Should we do first here. sip? We should absolutely do first sip. So, cheers. You hit the table. You... Wow. Oh, oh. Interesting. In that... It's a taste. It is certainly a taste. <laughs> it is a high alcohol taste. It... <laughs> This is not something you would find served at a high end <laughs> restaurant. This is wow. I, not that I'm making fun of your taste, but we neither of us like wine, particularly no. particularly white wine, which is what we are drinking. Um, it was in the red wine section. That was the first problem, because that's where I was looking. Yeah, because usually those are like upwards of fourteen. Because mm-hmm. yeah, like 
Yeah, because we the whole point is to get drunk and then see what happens with these stupid stories. Yeah. Um, and other things we get into. Wow. Yeah, I have a feeling this might actually be the first episode where we, we actually get drunk. Where we actually get drunk. Good on us. No, really, <laughs> her. Honestly. Material girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, back on to what we were talking. Uh, we've decided to name this se- segment, uh, Why Do Insert Gender? Uh, but it's like, why do men, why do women? Uh, blank. Yeah, blank. So, for instance, I could ask Brett, why do women destroy curbs in their cars? You know, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, personally, when I'm driving, like, I have blind spots in my, like, driving area. Okay. So, like, especially when I'm, like, coming out of, um, like, a road and I'm going onto a highway. Because I have, like, I put my seat a little further back. Why? You're, like, 5'3". Because I like to lean. And I girl, your seat needs, Girly, your seat needs to be as close to that steering okay, wheel but then you can go. Okay, but then you're going to ask me why do women put their seats so close to the steering wheel. Well, that and that's actually, not me. Um. Well, a lot of they drive like this, you know, the ninety degree angle. Yeah, that's not me. I ride with I ride with one leg up, slouching down, mirrors adjusted to what I need. Well, but because of that, there's sometimes blind spots, and so I have to like not only lean up a little bit, but also look back a little because there's just a line there. Oh okay. yeah. And so sometimes with that other side when I'm turning, I just can't see, and there's a curve. I can't see the ground always. Okay. I actually hit a curb yesterday. <laughs> See, you want to know how many times in the year I have owned my Mazda. Do you want to know how many curbs I've hit? How many? Um, big old goose egg. I have hit no curbs. I hit one during winter break right before I went to Disney, and I got a flat tire. And, like, the next day I had to leave to go to drive to High Point. I, I do want to let you know that everybody experiences blind spots in their cars. So. Yeah, I don't know what it is about me. It's just different. <laughs> It's not just you, Brett. Have you, ever, have you ever noticed that the curbs around the Starbucks drive throughs are all black? Not at home. For not me. at home, really? Yeah. Oh, it's so bad in Colorado. Oh. It is so bad in Colorado. Well, we didn't go to Starbucks when I went to Colorado because they wanted me experience. Oh, that's Starbucks. right. You you did go. Yeah. And I wasn't able to see you because I had just gotten in that night. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bummer. That was such a bummer. That would have been fun. But I experienced Dutch Bros, and that was super fun because, you know, I have that caffeine addiction. Dude. The Rebels? Have you, have you tried the Rebel? I had the Electric Shock. Okay, that one's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, next time, if you get a next time to go... Uh, well, I still have family that live there, so... Yeah, that's true. You also have Barnard that lives there. Mm-hmm. Um, go, if you're going in the morning, particularly if you are working out... <laughs> <laughs> For I, those who aren't watching, I got the chills. From the wine, the high-quality wine. No, also because I just got cold. Oh, no. So I just got we're, chills. We're in you. There are like blankets like right there. Nah, it's too far. It's too far. I know where my blankets are. Yeah, I know you know where your blankets are. You live here. I do not. Yeah. Was that your why? Do, why Why does women... Yes, dude. It's so bad. Like fucking... Haven, uh, Haven isn't so bad about this because um, her car is lowered. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lizzie... Mm-hmm. Lizzie was so bad about it. Motherfucker would not slow down for curbs. Or curves. <laughs> like, period. Like, she she would, like, demolish the, uh, so you turn left to get into my cul-de-sac at home. Yeah. She would demolish that. She would, like, go up onto the sidewalk, like, half the time. I was like, Jesus, like, do you not notice that? I can't do that back home, because we don't necessarily have curbs, because I live in the bumfuck middle of nowhere. But um, we do have, like, the sewer drains where, like, when it rains, it just goes into there. Oh, oh yeah, like rocks. the 90s? The, oh, oh, there's no. There's rocks on the grass. Okay. And so I have to be really careful because huh. if I drive on rocks, then I'm, I don't want to drive. Right, and they're, like, the big tracks. rocks. <laughs> Wait, so, you drive a Ford. What do you drive? Eco Sport. Eco Sport. 2020. Per material girl. Material girl. All right. Okay. What, is, what is your why do men? Um, I really didn't think about this. No, you should have because this is a good segment. I know. Um, I could ask one that like specifically pertains to you. Like, mm. 
Um, mm, what part of my personality does this pertain to? Do we really... Uh, well, there's two ways I can go about this. Does it involve um, the friend who is also Colin's ex? <laughs> no. no, no, no. <laughs> okay, well, if it doesn't pertain to that part of my life, we can, we can go in there. Um... Well, it could go either way, because I could, I got two. I'm just going to say both, and you can choose which one you want to answer. Okay. Why do men gym rats have a whole cabinet dedicated to protein powder? Okay. What's the difference, basically? What's the difference between, like, protein powders? Basically, and, like, like why do you guess? need so many? Okay. And then the second one, why do men always want an open relationship? Okay, actually, uh, I will answer both of these protein powders. Um, there are a lot of different formulas on the market, and you kind of just find one that either tastes good, which is how I usually go. So mm -hmm. um, there's whey protein, which is from cows, and it's like very, very, uh, it like does its job really well. And then there are also, there's stuff like creatine that helps you hold your water weight. Is this any amount of English to you? No, yeah, I get okay. it. So there's stuff that helps you hold water weight. I'm a weight. woman, I'm not fucking stupid. <laughs> well, I don't know, because like creatine and beta alanine and all the fancy chemicals that go into making your workout really good, that's all like really important. We only have like two things of protein powder in there. No way! You these no, uh, okay. these people have a whole cabinet dedicated to so, all of that pre workout in, shit. In our cabinet we have Will's creatine, we have Will's protein, I think Colin's protein too. Uh, I don't have my protein here yet. I've been just fucking munching I heard about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm bummed about it, dude. <laughs> uh, and then we've got, um, did I say my pre-workout and Will's mm -hmm. pre-workout? Okay. Uh, and that's really it. It's just like big containers. That's really all it is. That's how mm -hmm. it can eat the entire cabinet. Um, but it's all, it's all just different formulas. Like... The different chemicals do different things that different people like. Like, for instance, I like a lot of beta alanine, the shit that makes you itchy, but it also helps with muscle endurance, help you get big and strong. Um, be me. <laughs> so, there's yeah, that's. A muscle on this like, arm. There is a muscle on this arm, as you No, can there's see. muscle on this arm, not a lot, but there, there is some. Okay, well, we but can... I can't flex with my left arm, so. Yeah, okay, no. well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. There. I can't flex. I'm not even, yeah, you're right. No flex. flex. <laughs> Ow, I hit arms today, so I'm very, very sore. Oh, there's a small line. Not as prominent as this one. I don't know what Her. I do with this one, but. Can you, can you see your tries, Miss Girl Brett? You cannot see Girl Brett's tries. I got nothing. I don't have tries. <laughs> <laughs> she can hit the gym with us sometimes. She probably won't like it. No, I said I would last year, and Rob was supposed to make a, a like, a workout for me because I wanted to tone around me. Because I'm not like, I'm not out of shape really. Mm -hmm. I just need to tone everything. And so I asked Rob for a workout and he never made one. So mm. Steph asked me for a workout. I still need to get back to her. Steph! She's not home. Fuck! <laughs> we also allow interruptions on this podcast. We, we encourage it. We do encourage it. We just, well, okay, it's not so much encourage. We just tell them if it happens, we don't really care. Yeah. Um,. But there's the answer to that question on the open relationship thing. So, um, Haven and I are both very physical people. Okay. Uh, and we kind of really like, we, 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 we went at it. Um, okay. So we were both kind of like, yeah, if we're going to continue this 1400 miles away from each other, we probably need to have something in line so we can deal with that accordingly. And living with three other dudes is certainly not helping <laughs> Um, my current state of mind, um, don't, don't, don't even look at me like that. You're not on the list. <laughs> Are you me? I'm not going to bring out that 13 reasons why list. Second episode thing. The, 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 um, the one about the butts. What? The one of like the, the butt list. Like, the 13 reasons why, but the joke is, is that it's more than 13. Mm, mm. We read it on the second episode, but... Did we? Yeah. Oh, we did! Yeah, we that was the whole did. episode. That's... Yeah, I remember that. That was that, that was pretty fucking funny. We should do that again for we, a second. We should definitely do that again for a second episode. We, we should, should bring also, that back. We should also bring on a guest for the second episode. I'm down. Um, 
We should plan this after this. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we can't. We can't uh, <laughs> diverge terribly. We can edit it out. But uh, essentially, we both just kind of agreed on it, and we were both okay with it. It's like a don't ask, don't tell. I can call her right now if you want me to. I mean, I don't care. Okay. Well, mm. didn't you just tell her that? Yeah. Probably not the best idea. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. No. Honestly, hanging out with a lone female friend drinking, um, and then co- telling her like, "Yeah, Bruce Phil a podcast, no big deal." Why do we have an open <laughs> relationship? Oh man, that that would be interesting. She can always listen to this. I will send her the link. Um. I want her to know that, like, I'm not hinting at anything. I just wanted to know. Cause, no. Well, because, like, the guy that I made... Well, we'll talk about that story. No, we can talk about that story right now. We have a whole other 45 minutes to fill up, Brett. Okay, well, then this will be a nice, like, like intro into my time in Europe. Oh, over okay. The I didn't realize we were going to speak. Oh, I guess we could talk about Well, because, like, summer. it pertains. Yeah, yeah it, so, does. it does. So, basically, I went to Europe this summer... Um, I went to Prague and Vienna with my chamber choir, had a super fun time, and I was there for my 21st birthday, so obviously we went out for those nights, especially in Prague and Vienna, not so much because we had too many rehearsals, but so I'm just going to tell the whole story, and then the last guy will pertain to Oh, is this the seven guys? Yeah. (laughs) Her! Her! So... Um, the first night, or not the first night, the second night we were in Prague, because the first night we just went to sleep, we, we traveled that day. Yeah. But the second night we were in Prague, that was my birthday. Okay. And so we started off, we had a show that night, met our piano accompanist, shout out to Pavel, love Pavel, Pavel. he love probably Pavel. won't listen to this podcast, because no, he he's, he's from Prague. He's probably does he almost know, he probably speaks English if you were able to build a relationship with him. I could DM it to him. You could DM it to him. He but shout like, out to my boy Pavel, he was chill. Um, and then that night, we decided to go to this ice bar, because like, how many times can you say you went, you've been to an ice bar? It's not really a... I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, it's not really a thing. An ice bar is. It's not a thing in America. So basically, an ice bar is just a bar made of ice. Like, the physical tables were made of ice, there was okay. a chair made of ice, the cups were made of ice. Huh. And they gave you, like, jackets and gloves to wear. They didn't give you pants, which was a bummer because I was wearing, like, jeans with holes in them. <laughs> I was a little chilly. But, um, so we were there, and then, like, we were only there for 30 minutes because there was a time limit. Yeah. And you get, like, you pay to get in, and you get two free drinks. Okay. And so, or at least I did because birthday. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And then we went to this Irish pub because we were asking around being like, where's a local place to go to? Because we don't want to go to a touristy pay place. Yeah. Yeah. So they were okay. like this Irish pub. Written prop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They were like this Irish pub down the street. And so we went down the street like one block away, went to this pub. We're all drinking there. We're playing um, piccolo. Like, like the app, you're literally playing like the instrument piccolo or is that a drink? No, game? it's a drink. It's like an app on your phone and it tells you like what to do. Okay. We, we can should, play that for an should, episode. Should, oh, fuck. Get all the guys together. Yeah. Get all the girls together. Oh, yeah. somebody has our first interruption. Hello. 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 What, did you buy for Claire? Yeah. No, for me. Did you at I'm least upset. text Claire? <laughs> Claire's at Nix. Yeah. And also... Oh, bet! I have a way! Let's go! I'm also lactose intolerant. Yeah. So. I'm lactose intolerant. I'm a brave little yeah, lactose. Yeah, well, some people well, she does care. sometimes. She, some people but, care, some people don't, and she cares, and you don't. So this is like... So cute. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> why? Why? why, why, oh, uh, why it fell. And I brought my beer and my you know, hour. Okay. Well, late, d- later problem. Miss <laughs> Avery, he's what there. are you doing tomorrow? I don't know. I'm I told, yeah. Are you hanging yeah. with us for yeah. Derby Day? Like to, yeah. So uh, that's another good segment. We are going to talk about Derby Day after but, summer. Um, we uh, we have to make one appearance tomorrow. At a different house, and then the guys. I'm going to 807 cars. with you. Okay, so you're going to. Okay, mm-hmm. so we have to. Yeah, I we have got to make wine it a, in my eye. Oh well, that's <laughs> unfortunate. 
Our, fir- our oh, first I mishap. We should apply for workers' comp, except we don't have that because this is our first I got episode. some nine, though, if you want some. I would love some later on. Okay. Um, but yeah, after 8.07, uh, we'll just be hanging out at 12.12, like literally two okay. houses down. Cool. Um, swing on by if you're with them. All right, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Just let one of the girls know, though. They'll tell us. The whole, the whole spiel. Anywho, so, so we were in this I'm Irish... I'm so excited. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You're good. They need to understand that I'm excited. For Derby Day? For no, for ice cream. cream. For, oh, for ice cream. Yeah. We need to buy two bottles of wine and just let the visitors drink with us. Yeah. Next time. I mean, I, I have my own type of... Alcohol that I can drink. Well, you do, but it's not wine. I mean, it's Prosecco. Wine. Prosecco is wine. So, Prosecco yeah. is wine. Mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> so we're in this Irish bar playing piccolo, and then the bar, the pub was closing because it's a Thursday. Yeah. And so okay. um, uh, we oh. exit, and we're trying to find somewhere we can dance. Okay. Like, we're trying to find somewhere we can dance, like Italian after we got the middle settled. Club. And so, like, these dudes, like, we're right outside the window of the pub. It's not officially closed yet because people are still doing things. Mm-hmm. And we hear knocking. Mm-hmm. We look over. Me and my friend Faye, um, or no, Emma. Faye has the boyfriend. They're twins, so. Okay. Got confusing. <laughs> um, they, we look inside, and they're, like, waving us in. And so we run in, and they're like, hey, we're going here if you want to go. And we're like, bet, we know where we're going now. So we put it in the maps and we walk there. It's mm-hmm. right next to the ice bar. Okay. So it was like it was a good moment. Um, we get in. The first floor is like music that you would hear in Prague and like whatever, okay. like local music. Okay. And then the second floor was oldies music. Like like no. oldies no. Italian music. No, like, like just, our oldies. Like, okay. Yeah. It's like oh eight oldies or like fifty years. Like, I okay, bet. That's yeah. awesome. Like, 80s, 90s, like, mm, like really early 2000s, that, mm-hmm. that kind of music. So, and then, playing trade bangers. Yeah. And then okay. the third floor was, like, music we would hear in a club. Okay. So, or, like, a frat party. Yeah. And so, we were in that first floor for a while. It was fun, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then we were like, let's travel to the second floor. Went up to that second floor. Light up dance floor. Ooh. It is straight up 80s. Yeah. <laughs> And we are having so much fun there. The guys that we oh, met there that like told us to go there, they are also there. They're there for a wedding group, and they got a bottle of wine in the middle of the dance floor. <laughs> Not the best place for it. It broke. Aw. Um, That's alcohol abuse. Yeah. It is alcohol abuse. <laughs> but this one guy, we start dancing, we start vibing. He lifted me to the Dirty Dancing song. Um, oh, I'm so romantic. That song lasts with that. No, I'm not there yet. Oh, I'm sorry. She's on, she's on dude one of seven. Yeah. Oh. And so, <laughs> and so we start making out whatever. And early in the night, like, I don't know fully where I am. So you already know I'm not going to the bathroom with anyone. Like, what the fuck could happen to me? A lot of things. Yeah. Like, I have no muscle. Like, I can't fight them off. It's so, like the only thing I had is my mace. And that might, like, at that point, it was probably expired. So... I was just like there and at some point he pulls me off the dance floor and in my head we're going to the bar because he knows it's my birthday um and then our friend my friend Steph not the one we just met a different Steph stops us and she's like no bathroom like you're not going there and I was like what the fuck are you talking about I wasn't going to a bathroom and then he was saying to me like I kiss you I like kissing you I want to do more with you he was Belgium and I was just like, fuck no. And so I got away from him, didn't vibe with him anymore. Steph is trying to get a waffle. And or not Steph. Fuck. Okay. Evidence that the line is clearly working this time. Brett is trying to get a waffle. Anyway. anyway. I'm just trying to get my eyes free. So no, we know. <laughs> then, then I see these Hispanic guys. And not only do they have a bottle of vodka, they have a bottle of tequila. And so I instantly become friends with them. And this one, like one of the Hispanics, like we're dancing, and then we start making out. And this man was aggressive. I'm telling you, he dipped me while holding like the back of my, like the small of my back and like my neck. And shit was everywhere. Anyway. Anyway. (laughs) So then like we were making out for a good while, dancing, making out, going back and forth with that. 
And then my friends were like, hey, let's go up to that third floor because we haven't been there yet. And I was like, per, let's go. So we went, having a good time there. He followed us up there. And at that point, I was just kind of over him. Like, I needed a new target. <laughs> and so I found a new target. Like, he was, like, dancing behind me. And I looked at this one guy, and I was like, save me. <laughs> I wasn't in any danger that I know of. But I said, save me. And he pulled me away, and then I was dancing on him, made out with him, and then it's... Wait, wait, so did you make out with the guy you said save me? Okay, well, I know you made out with the guy who you said save me to, but did you make out with the guy who you said save me about? Yeah, that was a previous. That was the Hispanic guy. Oh, okay, so that was the Hispanic guy. Number yeah. Two. So no, Hispanic now we're at number, number two. Three. Now we're at number three. three. And then it hit, like, 3.30 in the morning. We were like, okay, we got to figure out a way home. So we went home. The next night, we did basically the same thing minus the ice bar. We went to the okay. pub, had a great time, um, met these German guys. Mm. I have a video of one of them no, getting... German guy. Fuck you. I'm German. <laughs> so am I. But you're... Any... Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, Steph, Steph is Jewish. <laughs> I'm a German Jew. <laughs> For future reference, you... Um, Anyways. <laughs> so, but I have a video of one of those Germans, like, getting on our table, taking a show up and just whipping it around. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Are you finished? Oh, my God. Ugh. I am finished. I gotta catch up. Oh, that I'll do that when you're talking that about your son. may have not been a good idea. That just hit my fucking stomach like a rock, but it is okay. We we move It's okay on. because it's from the drop off. We we stay slammed. Mm -hmm. Part. <laughs> um. So. How many calories was that? What wow. What? Let's see. Let's I see. <laughs> Serving is really per okay. So wait. How it's many so calories? Cal. It's uh. It's one twenty per serving. Uh. I don't I'd know. say we had two servings each. Well, yeah, probably, but I don't... We'll figure that out in a moment. Because I'm bulking right now, so my calorie intake is very important to me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we tell them, like, hey, we're going back to the dance club. Like, y'all should come, too. And it's now a Friday night, so it's a lot busier. But, oh, I forgot to mention. So while we were in that pub, oh, Lord. this one's important because it's one of the guys. Oh, the German guys? Um, no. But so while we were in the pub... Um, the night before, we invited Pavel, our piano accompanist, mm -hmm. to come to the ice bar with us. But yeah. he didn't see the message until the next day. Okay. And so he was like, hey, when are we going to this ice bar? And we were like, oh, that was yesterday. I'm so sorry. But we're at this pub. Come join us. Mm -hmm. And so he did. And we were all, like, freaking out. Because the first time we met him, we were like, ah, shit. And, <laughs> and our professor that was with us, he was like, um, he was like, this is Pavel. He won't get with any of you. So I took that as a challenge. Oh, Lord. Did you make out with the pianist? Hold on! And so... Oh, my God! <laughs> Calm down. So, we... Like, he comes to the pub with us. He's drinking with us and whatnot. Yep. We go to this dance club with the Germans. Um, so we're all moving and grooving there. Mm -hmm. Having a fun time. We stayed with the Germans for most of the night. They were okay. so fun. Okay. Um... Yeah, they started but, drinking at like 11, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, we, we got to the club. We're having fun. Pavel's dancing. He was, poor Pavel was wearing like a button-up. He had to change into like a white t-shirt halfway through. Um, so, after he changed, that's when they were all like, Brett, go get him. And I was like, per, I got it. Don't worry about it. And so, uh, subtle flirtation with the dancing. Eventually, I was dancing on him. Then I made out with him. So, yes, I did make out with the piano accompanist. Per. Um. And then, while I was making out with the piano accompanist, I saw this guy wearing sunglasses, and I made a this point is... early in the night to get those sunglasses. Do you have them? Yes. I remember I did that with someone, yeah. and I okay. bought that. You did what? I took somebody's sunglasses off of some other girl because I was mad that he gave it to another girl, and so I took them. When was, was, was this this last summer? Last semester. Last semester. Was this at one of the 808 parties? It was at a rock. Oh. Uh, it was Mr. German Man. <laughs> there they are. The sunglasses from the sunglass guy from Italy. But I made a point to go get them, and 
But that was also while I was making out with the piano accompanist. You're fucking so, blind without my shit. It's bro. a little small. It's small on me. I never use this one. I don't care. I don't know if you oh, dude, I'm fucking. Uh, these are my derby day glasses. I'm sorry. I don't feel bad. Hold on, just wait. You're coming home with me. You're coming home with me. You do a good job at that. This? Nothing. You're coming home with me. You're now. coming home with me. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so I made a point early in the night to get those sunglasses, and so. Girlie, these are bad. Don't even talk to me about. It. I'm like. Anyway, and so I was making out with Pablo for a while, and then, like, eventually I got tired of him because he was just a little too gentle. Like, he was definitely nervous. He is. A and so. Of what do you expect from him? Well. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna bust out of this place. I can't wait for you to show this to your teacher. <laughs> this is it for my school project. I don't project. give a shit. You should send it to him. <laughs> anyway. And so. Um, I got bored of him for a while, and then I started making out with this one random guy that we, like, we started vibing with the dance and then I made out with him, but he was sloppy. His tongue was everywhere. It was literally down my Dude, throat. And too, much, to too much tongue is not okay. No, it's that. so bad. And so I was just like, okay, I'm pulling away. And I even told him I was like, too much. <laughs> away. You're like, I am a red-headed, big-titted American. <laughs> red-headed, big-titted. What? You're done, you're done. You're done. I'm allowed to say it. Everybody knows it. <laughs> anyway. How do you think I feel? I got little boobs. I get big boys. <laughs> anyway, and so I went back to Pavel. And then we went back down to the oldies bar. We were on the third floor and then we went back down to the oldies bar. Right. Um, and I saw the sunglasses guy was still there. And I was like, okay, I'm making my move. Started vibing with him, dancing. And then while we were dancing... He put his sunglasses on me. Okay. So I ha didn't have to do anything. Yeah. But I did kiss him. Okay. And so I was making out with him, blah, blah, blah. And then... So wait, we're we on yes, five now? Six. Six. We are on six. So, okay, so wait. We got... First dude, Hispanic dude, uh, dude who saved you. I put quote, air quotes. In yeah, because I didn't need saving. Uh, and then we got Pavel... Closet. One of the German guys? No, the random dude that I random had too dude. Much you're you're right. Random dude with too much tongue. And now we're on a sunglass. sunglass. We are at six out of seven. So then, like, at some point we pulled away and we were just dancing for a while, which was good, fun, and fresh. Because that song was my jam. I couldn't tell you what song was playing, but it was my jam at the time. And so, but then one of the German guys came up to me and he was like, "Hey, I think your friends are leaving." And he like sunglasses guys like right here and we're right here. <laughs> So, um, it was, and I was like, okay, thank you for telling me. Give me one second. And I went to the sunglasses guy again. Then the German grabbed me again. He was like, wait, hold on. And then he kissed me. Ooh, and I was so shocked. And, like, I was so surprised by that. I was so taken aback. And so I didn't even close my eyes. I was just staring at the sunglasses guy, shook out of my mind. Because he probably wasn't mad if you were looking at him. I lost him. my. Oh. He made like no intention that he was trying to kiss me that entire night that I remember. Hmm. And so then, like, he pulls away and he was like, I was wanting, yeah. like, I've been wanting to do that all night. <laughs> and then, so I was like, okay, give me a minute. And then he walked away. And then I went back to the sunglasses guy, and he was like, do you know him? And I was like, technically, I know him more than you. And so then I got sunglasses guy snap. Okay. And then uh, we left. It was like 4 in the morning. Yeah. Um, next day, we're getting breakfast and whatnot, and I get a Snapchat from him. And he's like, hey, can I get those sunglasses back? And I said, no. no, I'm like, not really. Like, I'm going to Vienna today. Like, I'm leaving in like half an hour. <laughs> and he was like, oh, damn, that was like the first gift my girlfriend got me. And I was like, girlfriend? And he was like, yeah, open relationship. Uh, and I was like, oh, no, that's what you Here's the thing. Here's the thing. She was on that trip. What? What do you mean she was on that trip? Like, the, like sh they're American. Okay, so they were American. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, and she was on that trip. And, and Bill did not get caught? 
I have no idea because well, he was with he was there with his friends like boys, and there was like two other girls there, like the girlfriend and someone else. Okay. And so like I remember being told that like while I was making out with this guy, like all of his friends were like, "Oh shit." <laughs> And my friends, like, stuck up for me, and they were like, what the fuck, that's my, you know, true drunk yeah. girl crash, and they're just okay. like, what the fuck, that's my friend, like, what the fuck are you oh shitting about? And then the next day, we realized what they were oh shitting about. Oh, you're all heading about, or heading no. out. Wow! Water. Wow, you want to fucking kick you like a mule, dude? I'm not drunk, but I am tipsy. I will. I will give it that. I'm getting there. Are you getting there? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I have not gotten there. I am drunk on... I'm waiting for you to tell your summer You're experience. waiting for me to tell my summer experience. So okay. that I could drink more. Because okay. I did a lot of talking just we now. We did do a lot of talking just now. We actually, uh, we were up to 35 That'd minutes. It's really more good more. because we are mm-hmm. getting our Killing it. Time. Well, I'm in. But. All right. Anyway. <laughs> so fun stories of your summer? Fun stories of my summer. So. Okay. So my summer was pretty regular for a fucking college kid. Didn't travel anywhere, actually. Like, you oh, went to Virginia. I did go to Virginia. I went to Virginia for court. That was cool. Um, we stay slaying. Um, the fuck Virginia and their speeding laws. Facts. Uh, and then I, uh, afterwards, I got back home and I started working. And then June? June. Yeah, July. I don't know. One of the two months came about. No, it was June. I remember that because uh, late June, I ended up breaking up with my girlfriend, Lizzie, Mm -hmm. which was cool. No, literally, fuck her. (laughs) But don't, not fuck her, but fuck her. Yeah, not fuck her, but Mentally fuck her, her, but physically don't fuck her. I believe that with my ex, too. Yeah, no, okay, so uh, we we can tell that story, too. So Lizzie, Lizzie was really great. She was. And um, then suddenly she started, she started hanging out with this guy, Dime. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm trying to act like I haven't heard this before. No, yeah, you have heard this. So, uh, she starts hanging out with this guy, Dime, and uh, one night she texts me. I'm like, hey, like, when are you getting home? I want to call you. Because, you know, I just started working, so I was like, super busy. So I didn't really get to see her, so I want to call Also, two cool boyfriend things, like, when I see her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, like, nothing wrong. She's like, oh, I'm spending the night with Mary. I was like, oh, are you just going to be at her place? She's like, no, we're spending it at Dimes. I was like, what? Excuse me? Yeah, no. I was like, hello? Like, I'm Did right it establish down. the open relationship? Like, I'm right down the road. <laughs> like, no, like, bro is literally across the street from me down there. And that's so, what the fuck? Yeah, right? So bro is literally, like, across the street. And I'm like, so I don't know this kid. And you know I don't fucking like Mary, her friend that she was staying the night with. Yeah. Uh, because she's a trifling hoe. Fuck you, Mary. You know what you did. (laughs) Um, so, she's staying with her trifling friend, who, they're no longer friends as, uh, I don't know when, I just saw her posting said TikToks. Um, bitches be trifling. Bitches absolutely be trifling. So she's with this friend, who I know wouldn't tell me shit if anything happened. Shouts out Avery. We love Avery. Avery's a queen. Um... And so she spends the night at this dude's house after I was like, hey, I'm not comfortable with this. The next day, the next day, she goes and gets a tattoo. No big deal. I'm like, hey, go with anybody? Because I know she likes to go with people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, I was like, sorry, I couldn't get the day off. Mm-hmm. It was a little short notice. But that's okay. You know, like, she'll go get the tattoo alone or maybe, mm-hmm. like, Avery will show up or whatever. And I text her. I was like, hey, can you go with anybody? She's like, no. Mm-hmm. And later that night, she's back over at this guy's house. Bitch. And, uh, like, won't answer her phone, like, period, verbatim. So I call her friend Avery. I'm like, hey, I'm thinking about breaking up with Lizzie. And she's like, why? I'm like, well, last night she did this, and now she's back over at this guy's house. Mm -hmm. Now responding to me. She's like, oh, that guy? You mean the guy she got a tattoo with today? What the fuck? Literally! And she's getting a bed out of shape because I broke up with her! What what's confusing about the breakup? Like why is she I don't, like why how like I understand like okay, don't get me wrong, should I have trust in her male friends? Yes. Absolutely. I expect trust, you know, like with you. Yeah. Um But also like I don't spend the night over here if I am okay enough to go home. I spent the night at Point Place once. That's uh, where I used that's to where live. she used to live. 
and I had gotten far too drunk and ended up falling asleep on the floor. Not even in a room, just on the floor. Just literally on the floor in the living room. And nobody bothered me. Of you course, bothered Emma. She, you slept talked. Boo hoo. <laughs> Emma doesn't live here anymore. So, yeah. So that was the only time I ever did that. No. Did I ask permission? No. But I also didn't know I would be spending the night over there. There was no intention. There was literally no intention. Like, because Will did the same thing. Will was dating Zia. Um, and, like, he didn't even spend the night, like, in her room. Like, he slept on the couch. Because I had my friend, like, from home, Will, over here. I love <laughs> Will. I fucking love that kid. I please, remember- please, please, please bring him over without the blonde one. Well, they're not friends anymore. Let's go! She dropped him when he dropped when she dropped me. Okay, so she dropped both of us at the same time. We're, we're still friends with Will, though. Yes, love Will. Yes. Okay. But, well, um, I think the boys. But he, like, I just remember that night. Will came into her and he was like, um, he was like, I need to pee. Pick a side, and I was so confused because I was like in my bed, and he was like. No, I'm gonna go pee and then I'm sleeping in your bed because Will took my couch. And I was like, oh, okay. So I like got to the corner. And like when I have someone sleeping in my bed, like and I'm not like with them or anything, yeah, I like scoot as far to the corner like, as possible. Hello wall, like yeah, yeah. I okay. I make myself as small as possible. And so like I was still awake, but I felt Will like sit up, look over, and we were both doing the same thing. <laughs> And so I just feel him like scoot in a little, and I was, and then like at some point he fell asleep, and I did that same thing. I was like, "Dang, there's a shit ton of room." Aw, was... <laughs> oh, how cute. <laughs> Ew. So yeah, that happened, and then um, probably about a week after, I worked in Honda. I was a valet for Honda, so that means I was, you know, walk up with my little blue slip, like, "Hey." Welcome to Honda. What brings us in today? How many models are on the car? Write all that fun stuff down and then send them into a service advisor so they can get service. And one day, about a week after my breakup, which was very hard on me, you know, I, I was very much justified, but it's still, you know, it's a breakup. It yeah. sucks. Um, I remember those snaps. Yeah. So, I, you know, I was in rough shape, but, you know, I was, I was managing. Mm-hmm. And I check in this old dude in a blue Honda Accord that was a coupe. Uh, and his license plate has ZOF somewhere in it. I don't remember the numbers afterwards. Mm-hmm. Probably shouldn't say that. No, I probably shouldn't, but he lives in Colorado, and if you see him, please hit him. Um, uh, he was very confused, so our uh, our garage doors close, and mm-hmm. when you drive up to them, you know, like a little sensor still open for mm-hmm. him. He sat out there for probably five minutes, and when the valets, when it started to get later in the day, uh, we stopped taking walk-ins at four. Yeah. And it was probably about two. Mm-hmm. And when it starts getting later in the day, we stop telling people to just, ah, come on in. Like, it's fine. I'll open for you. We just yeah. kind of laugh at them. Yeah. So this guy sat out there. It's for entertainment. Probably, yeah, literally. This guy sat out there for probably five minutes. Mm-hmm. Walked into the service office and was like, hey, help. And they're like, drive through the door. So he walks back out to his car. And he brings it through the shop. And I end up being the uh, unlucky motherfucker that checks him in. So I check him in, and another car pulls in at the same time. I'm like, okay, I'll deal with this, and then I'll deal with the Acura. Mm -hmm. So I'm writing him up. I give him his little blue sheet. I'm like, all right, go ahead and park your car. Leave it running for me. I'll get it taken care of as quickly as possible. Here's your blue sheet. Go talk to a service advisor, please. Mm -hmm. And he's like, can do. And I'm walking around the front of his car, which was my bad. I will absolutely say that was 100% my bad. Uh, and he just lets off the brake directly into the side of my knee. <laughs> and, you know, I, like, uh, I, like, stopped myself on this. Hood. Like, my handprint was literally on this man's hood. <laughs> I, he hit me hard enough to knock me off balance and me to stop myself from falling on his hood. And, uh, you know, he hits the brakes pretty hard, you know, realizing he hit somebody. <laughs> And I get up off of his car, and I look at him for a second. And I realize, you know what? This is not worth losing my job over. I turned around, I grabbed my nicotine source, and I walked outside. I did not say a word to him. I went and I had my smoke break, and I walked back in the shop. And he's still there! He's still in the shop! He's like, oh my god! I'm so sorry! And I'm like, please go talk to a service advisor! 
Please! <laughs> like, I'm not gonna sue you. I'm okay. You just hit me with a fucking car. Get out of my face! Please! So, so I'm like, dude, like, don't worry about it, basically. That, that, you know, I couldn't say that to him. No, yeah. I'm, like, I'm still a customer service rep. Like, That's what okay. you're thinking. I'm like, I'm like, sir, like, you're all good. Nothing, nothing is from this is going to happen to you. Please go talk to a service advisor. So he goes and talks to a service advisor. And evidently, I didn't know this because everything happened so fast. One of my coworkers walked out, like, right after it happened. I'm, like, taking off my hat, like, oh, fuck. And he's like, you all right? And I go, I just got hit by a fucking car. <laughs> I didn't remember this happening. I didn't, I didn't know that happened until probably two weeks later. So, uh, yeah, he goes, and the whole time he is in there, you know, I'm telling my coworkers, you got to have that fucking guy right there. Um, so um, I'm talking to them, and this guy looks like he's absolutely scared out of his mind. <laughs> I mean, he just hit a person it in a did. dealership. In a dealership? Who worked at the dealership? <laughs> How do you fuck that up? Um, so yeah, he just hit me. Uh, and he's like sitting in there shitless, scared shitless. And I had only told my managers because I wanted to see the video of me getting hit by a car. <laughs> so I asked my managers, like, oh, I'm going to talk to this person. So I'm going to talk to that person. I'm like, oh, I'm going to talk to this person. I'm going to talk to that person. It was just a circle. So I was just like, Fuck it, whatever. I won't just see the video of me getting hit by a car. So I gave up on that. Um, but then the day after I had gotten hit by a car, I was really excited to go see my friends about 30 miles away, you know, about an hour mm -hmm. drive in Colorado in Greeley. And I get to Greeley, you know, we're all having a good time. We're having drinks by the pool. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're, we're hanging out there. And there is this woman making barbecue and you know eventually we get tipsy enough to be like hey we have alcohol you have food what do you say about a little trade deal so we uh we we go trade um we traded two corona lights mm -hmm. really don't it's like so that bad. wine it's so bad um <laughs> so we go trade two corona lights for a um, meal a person I don't know why they decided that was a fair trade, but uh, yeah, it was really, really good. We ha I had a chicken breast and a hot dog. Sounds good. Yeah, and later on, we were, uh, you know, we were still sitting by ourselves at this point. Later on, they had asked us to come join them. Yeah. Um, so we were still sitting by ourselves, just me and my buddy. And, you know, we're talking like, that was really, really good. Mm -hmm. And one of the girls from the group comes over and, you know, we were like, holy shit, like, I would hire that woman for a home cook. Facts. And so, you know, we're shooting the shit with her, and she's like, oh, yeah, she's vegan. We're like, oh, really? Like, there's no way a vegan can cook food this good. That yeah. is meat. Yeah. Like, I had a chicken breast and a hot dog. Uh, you know, the rest of the night, we're all drink. I get way too plastered. I'm not even going to lie. I got fucking destroyed. Um, so we're sitting at the table. You know, we're shooting the shit. Uh, I ended up talking. Uh, one of the ladies was a young mother, and uh, her kid was there, and he was, like, digging around the pool, throwing the football or whatnot. Um, he was trying to, like, skip it across the pool on the other side. It, it, it was fun. So, yeah, like, whenever he would do one thing that his mom told him to do, like, oh, yeah, stand here and then skip it across the pool and have it land here. And eventually... Uh, I ended up getting in on that. So I was like, yeah, you should stand at the very back of the fence and try to hit the grill from across the pool. So it was like fence, pool, like little communal grill area. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I was trying to do. So, you know, me, me and this mom were literally just like talking all night. And, you know, I didn't think anything of it. None of it was flirting. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, later I realized just how hammered I am. I was like, okay, I got to go shower. I need to sober up. Mm -hmm. So I go, and I shower, and my buddy gets back. He's like, hey, you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just showering. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, go to sleep, wake up the next day, worst hangover of my life. Seems like it. It was terrible. And uh, turns out my buddy is also having a really rough time with this hangover. Mm -hmm. And considering him and I can go through an entire bottle of Jack in a night, that's a little weird to us. Yeah. So we start talking. We're like, it had to have been something I ate. 
like that kind of thing. And we realized that this woman was vegan. She didn't know how to cook meat. We had, the chicken was fine, so mm -hmm. she didn't know how to cook that. The hot dogs, on the other hand, they were vegan or vegetarian, one of the two. Mm -hmm. So that had given us food poisoning. Oh my god. <laughs> I had food poisoning for the next week and a half. I lost 15 pounds. But that wasn't all the aftermath of that night. The mom I was talking to found my Instagram, <laughs> didn't know my last name. Or either of my middle names, which are, you know, like, imperatives mm -hmm. on my Instagram. You, you follow me. Yeah. She followed me on Instagram. I don't know how the fuck she found me on Instagram. What the fuck? She hasn't talked to me or anything. She hasn't said anything. Oh, okay. But I remember her name was Aspen, and, you know, I remember, you know, like, what she yeah. was like, obviously, because I was talking to her for hours. Mm -hmm. And she followed me. I was like, okay, this is a little weird. I'm not really going to do anything about it if she doesn't. That was that. Uh, so yeah, I got food poisoning, and the day after I got hit by a car, I got a bruised interior knee, if you're curious, uh, I had to go do the whole workman's comp thing, and then a few weeks after that, you know, finally getting over the breakup, yada yada yada, mm -hmm. still working in Honda, uh, and I finally get enough money for a little upgrade on my car, mm -hmm. And so I decide that I would let loose a little bit, which I never do. I drive like a granny. Mm -hmm. Like, I can drive really well. Um, and so, you know, I decide to let loose a little bit, and I get pulled over. So I'm, like, pissed about that. Um, so this is this is all within, like, a three-week span. Like, oh I, I really, like, when I got pulled over, I had just gotten over food poisoning. Oh. Uh, and then after food poisoning, uh, my coworker and I started talking. Um, I was like, yeah, I'll teach you how to go fly fishing. Like literally like she was fishing for compliments. I was not, I wasn't giving it, like I wasn't giving her any amount of edge because I don't normally like to shit where I eat. And tonight I am paying the repercussions of that, uh, which we will get into in a minute. <laughs> um, and, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'll teach you how to fly fish. And we end up going out on paddle boards into a private lake that her mom and stepdad, her stepdad also worked at Honda. So there's no way I'm getting my fucking job back at Honda now. L. L. <laughs> Barner. I really don't care. They didn't pay that much. Um, and you got hit by a fucking car. I did, I did get hit by a fucking car. Um, so... Yeah, we go we go paddle boarding. You know, it, it ends up being like a really it was like a super pretty sunset. We're just talking. We didn't go fly fishing like at all, so we're just talking. And then uh, next thing you know, we are drinking and making out on her living room floor. On the floor. On the floor. It was really dirty too. Oh, like a couch. Uh, we moved to the couch. And, and then I'm like, I'm, I'm like about to pass out. And she's like, hey, come with me. I'm like, oh, fuck. She's dragging us through. You know, things happen. <laughs> Devil's tango. Devil's tango. Um, so that happens. And then we kept it a, like quiet for a while. And then eventually I would like tell one of the uh, one of the service advisor guys on the other side, so it was Honda and Acura, mm -hmm. and I was tell like I'm really close to the people on Acura side. Uh, so I was like, yeah, no, Kendall and I ended up doing this. Um so and then uh, yesterday they confronted her about it. They were like, Hey, did you screw that ballet kid? And she was like, Yeah. And so I have a bunch of text messages from uh, this <laughs> The service advisor girl absolutely reaming me for telling them. She's like, why did you tell them? And I responded with, mail. It's like, do you give a shit like at all? I go, frankly, I'm at school. I have like a whole other set of things to deal with. She goes, okay, well, you have fun with that personality. And I go, I. <laughs> That's, I. That was the last test match. She said, have a good life. And I said, I. This was today. This was literally today. Um, Minutes before we start recording yeah, this, well, I showed her in my kitchen <laughs> before she came over and yelled at me because I was taking forever to get ready, uh, which is valid. <laughs> uh, so that happened today. Well, and Colin was coming back over here anyway because he peed it here. So. Oh well. But uh, yeah, I uh, 
had to deal with that today. But then later, uh, I matched with my neighbor. Like, literally, like, our back doors uh, face each other, neighbor. Like, we weren't neighbor neighbors, but our backyards touched. Uh, so, I ended up matching with my neighbor on Tinder, which is, like, a whole other story. But I'm trying to get to the gist of it because yeah. we're almost at our run time. Look at us. Per, you gotta finish your wine, sweetheart. I'm getting it! Oh my <laughs> it's so bad! It is so bad. Um, if you can't tell, we hate wine. We do not like wine, hence the name of the podcast. Um, and we like to torture ourselves. We do like to torture ourselves. We are gluttons for punishment. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I start um, doing things with the neighbor. And we end up clicking insanely well. Like, down mm-hmm. to music taste, like zero red flags found. So we ended up dating. And now we're in a real relationship 1,400 miles away. Um, we were talking about it earlier. Uh, Miss Haven, uh, who actually really wants to meet Miss Girl Brett, who I am filming a podcast with currently. I don't know why. That's like a natural thing that people do. Really? Yeah. Like, anytime any of my guy friends had, like, had girlfriends or, like, vice versa, like, hmm. with, like, my gal friends and guy friends. Like, for some reason, I'm very entertaining to the point where they just really want to meet me. You're just a good time. I feel like... Thank you. <laughs> so... Like, that was, like, the first thing he said when he... Like, yeah, I was like... On, yeah. Like, when he... Ava wants to meet you. <laughs> Ava really wants to meet She's, uh, She should be coming out early September, actually. Oh, yeah, Material Girl. Wait, Perfect. which weekend? Uh, ninth. You're joking. I'm going to be in Isle Palms that weekend. I will f- we'll figure it out. If she doesn't get to meet girlfriend, she's not going to be that mad. I'm That's gonna... like me, Claire, and Steph are all going. What? She doesn't get to meet any of the girl. Okay. She'll meet Gabby. We'll torture Gabby. <laughs> poor Gabby. Yeah, poor Gabby. So, for reference, uh, my buddy Will and I make a stop here just about every night on our way back from the chair. <laughs> We don't even knock. We don't even text them. We just walk in. Because you guys really need to get better at locking your door. Well, like, we lock that door. But, like, when we're here, we lock it when we're about to go to sleep. We do, too. Like, when we're not about to go to sleep, like, and we have, like, we know people are coming over, sometimes we just don't want to lock it. Yeah. Like, it's easier to just let people walk in. Yeah. Um, so. And, like, it's a normal thing for y'all to come, so it's not like we're not yeah. expecting you. No, I mean, like, she barged in my house today. Like, it was, no, like, nobody was mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Bart, let's go! Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm my beer. Oh, second, it's Colin! Second interruption! <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you're totally fine, you're totally okay. fine. Okay, Brett's here, too. Hey! 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 Yeah. No, we're actually, we're wrapping up right now. Okay. Uh, Rob's at Walmart. Rob's at Walmart? Yeah. Probably he said he'll be here within the next 10 minutes. Yeah, what are so we So we're leaving. Time? Yeah, we're about to go. No, uh, no, no, I meant we're, di- we're like leaving, so he's like, where the fuck are they? Oh. So he pulls uh, up to an empty house. No. <laughs> no, I'm going to pick up North and Yadkin. Okay. If, y- if y'all want to order, I'll pick up your food, too. I already got Yadkin. Um. Martin is like, oh, let me get on that. <laughs> let, me, let me tap silver. Step. What? Do you want Yadkin or North? I'm going to both. Is this a good time to start the conspiracy theory? Uh, we don't have time for the conspiracy theory. Rob is almost here, which is going to be the end the podcast. And this has been a really, really, really good segment. This, this has actually, been so good. He spilled like half. We need to finish. You need to, we need to do a wine review. We need to do a wine review. I will finish it for you. Man, that. Wait, Brett, you want to taste? Come here. Get it. For fuck's sake, give me a wine. Oh, I was terrible. Anyway. So bad. I rate that wine like a, I'll give it a five because it did get me tipsy. Five is, five is good. Five is good. So we rate St. Chateau Michel, five out of ten. This has been We Hate Wine. Um, that's, that's the whole idea of the podcast. Is we, we both drink half a bottle, yeah, essentially. Yeah, Colin, Colin is inspecting the wine. Yeah. So we, we finished the bottle of wine, yeah. uh, as you can see here. Um, we rank this we rank this one a five out of ten for people who don't really like wine. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed our summer stories. Next week we will have more segments, uh, and I think we're just gonna post this one. Yeah, well, there was the like the talking about the second part, like second podcast. 
Oh, no, that's fine. We can keep that. Okay, you then never mind. Know. We'll just post that. We'll just post it. We didn't release any personal information this time. But that, has really been, cool. that has been a problem in the past. It was so. the first one. That was it. Yep. Alrighty, so thank you for listening in. If you listened all the way through, shouts out you. Uh, go ahead and recommend this podcast to your friends and family if you think we are funny. I don't think anybody's actually going to listen to this, but Brett, you should definitely send it to your teacher. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, you guys have a great rest of your day. Or this to people oh. or don't, but we prefer you do. Yep. What? <laughs> what was that? Is there a dust up? Alright. You guys have a great <laughs> 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 <laughs>